I'm Liz, working as Global Specialist Project for Customer Support Team. I'm Stephen, I work in the Service Monitoring Department for Customer Support. Strat is a cross-vertical solution and works alongside businesses of all kinds, including restaurants, retailers and grocers across 100 cities in France, the UK, Spain, Poland and soon Portugal. Our team work mainly through Intercom, uh, which is the uh, back end of our communication system with the majority of our clients and our drivers. We also use uh, Slack as well to uh, communicate internally with a uh, wider steward company and uh, clients. Agent shouldn't write any message. They should use a macro with a, a predefined uh, answer to the client or to the partners. Each situation is documented as a workflow with the action to take and the macro to send for agents. For each situation, there is a process and there is a macro to use. Acro uh, across Strat, including Pontica, there are 250 users that uh, save 10,000 hours of typing a month, so 44 hours a month per user. There is a small team in charge of macro creation in the department. All creation requests go to a ticketing system and the team in charge either adds a new reason to an existing macro or creates a new one with all the recurring needs. Agents also can create their own personal snippets, but we are reviewing them with the quick look option that give us uh, direct access to the personal folder to make sure there is no spelling error or that the process is respected. One of the major benefits of the form fields for us is giving uh, the agents a choice in a macro. We might have the same question, but they could use multiple outputs. So they bring up the macro uh, using one macro for different situations and they can choose a drop down uh, to choose their reply. This helps because even though there were many, many macros, we don't want people to remember too many. If we can consolidate similar tasks into one macro, we have options, you have to fill drop down, you choose the relevant ones, and then it will print out the message for you there. We use the autopilot feature to navigate around the website. When something is pasted, we can also go to the next field directly by using tab or using uh, the cursor feature. Put the cursor exactly where we want it for the text to be uh, posted in there. As we are a multinational company, we have three different markets at the moment and we're expanding to more. We have uh, all our text uh, in the macros, majority of the time is now divided between those different languages. So depending on who uses the macro, where they use the macro, using these uh, dynamic logics, it can decide what language it needs to use and we can have one single macro for every every market, every country, to uh, do the same thing in different languages. We use import a lot as there's uh, many features that are reused multiple times and in multiple different macros. So if you have a, a macro that might be two, two lines long, you don't want to be using that same macro every time. You don't want to, have to type it out or copy and paste it from a notepad. So we create a separate macro just for that and then we import that where and when it's needed. An ID for a package for example, the, macro, the imported macro would catch that ID from somewhere and paste it into the macro. So you just use that snippet instead of typing into that whole piece of code. The note feature is very handy for when the macro is used. A uh, form box pops up. We can have notes in there just as reminders, pointers uh, to make sure that the person using the macro is aware of certain things. It could be a warning, 
you could be make sure you choose the right option things like that something that we want people to be aware of but that obviously isn't used as the macro itself uh, when in search we uh, use it with uh, intercom and we use it with slack uh, with slack we incorporated slack web, slack web books when a macro is used wherever it is used we can automatically paste messages directly into slack and sometimes even into multiple channels at once this allows us to notify multiple channels at once with the same message in just one click of a button We use it to catch mainly different parts of the of the site the macro is being used on, whether it's uh, intercom, it could be Slack, it could be our own internal systems. We use it to catch different parts, it could be the delivery ID, it could be a driver ID, it could be a phone number. So we use that so it can catch a part of the, the website, the text, and uh, use that to incorporate into the macro. So the macro would then do different things depending on the data that it is uh, used. So takes place for our customer support. It's super important to help um, our partners and clients in the communication with our agent. We uh, make sure that uh, all the responses are clear with no spelling error or, or not following any processes. And also to make sure uh, our agents are able to assimilate uh, quickly all the processes, just remember one, one shortcut and have a clear work, uh, workflow in their mind.